Hi guys. Well, there's a good shot of my money going down the drain. No, no, no. It's an investment. Thanks. All right, Bruce here. So they're ch changing out these uh, railings, as you can see. That side is straight steel, and this side is old ornate steel, and they're changing them out. Pardon me. They're changing them out to the new ones. And I was just checking to see how they were attached up there. Just I want to use this as my as my eyes. He's just at the point where he's gonna he's just at the point where he's gonna be able to pull that out, I think. There it is. It's out. Perfecto! I was trying to figure out how they're anchored into the concrete. There it is. They must... I don't know how they're anchored. I don't even know how they anchor the new ones. Knuckle busters. Pretty hard to hold it still, guys. Sorry with it. It's coming. Don't mind me, sometimes I look away from the camera and then I can't line up, I, don't, I missed my lineup. I'm on out about 8 zoom here. Good job. Okay, here's the ones they're removing. And if you see on the end here, the old ones are welded. Mas forte. So this is an up close look at uh, the metal replacements, the square. And I really, ah, there we go. There's the key. So I think they're just hilti anchored into the concrete. Now, in my mind, I would have thought there would be a stud or a piece of angle iron coming out of here and out of here, and they would slip the new one on, right? But no go. And then they call come in. There, 
solve that mystery. I have detected something. I went and got my shovel and my camera and I've come back to find it. It's over here somewhere. Yeah. You hear that? So it's along this line here, right? And I'm getting two different tones. You hear that? Higher. And lower. Right there. If you can see where the X is I made. Right there. It's hard to do. It's just me doing this right now. So let's dig it up. See if we, we can find a place for you to watch. Well, let's put this down. I don't have three arms, eh? Okay. Back to our X right there. Oh, and it said it was, oh, nine inches down. That's a long ways, baby. Okay, first, first you excavate. Missed it by a bit. Three inches right there, see that? Four inches. I know it's a little unorganized, but I have to run the detector, the shovel, and me, and you. I came back because it's a two-tone, which suggests it could be a peso. Hey, it's out. Oh. Oh, I'm detecting the shovel. Hello. Well, it's out of the hole. Oh. Would it disturb you if I ask you a question? No problem. Just a moment, please. I'll turn off my camera. Okay, let's see if we can find this bad boy. Right in the center there, do you see that? That's the shovel. Now we're getting somewhere, because we were there, right? Now we're in this pile. I shouldn't be moving the dirt with the shop with the detector because it's hard on the hard on the wand. I think I found it. There it is. I think that's it. Yes. 
piece of foil from a bottle tap, from a bottle. That's why I got the two metal reading. There, find number one. And yeah, let's do the dig. Three inches down right there. But it doesn't sound like anything valuable because there's only one feet. Get you focused in again. It's out. There. Nail. And I really appreciate, or I'm sorry about the uh, shaky camera work, but I'm all by myself, like I said. Okay, my friends, we got something underneath the table. That's usually a good sign. You hear that two tone? I think it's right about there. It might even be part of the structure, eh? Maybe it's not Bobby Dazzler. It's out. Spread it around, and that gives me a, a wider area to search. But it still could be a nail in the post. Eh? Oh, it, the old shovel is in the way. We'll dig again. Two inches there. Which means it's an inch, right? There it is. Where is it? Where's my lens? Right there. Environmental cleanup. <laughs> okay, there we go, guys. My finds for the day. You saw me digging them up. Thanks. <laughs>